All right, here's video one of two on representing linear functions. Okay, a linear function can be represented a bunch of different ways. Uh, there's five that we're going to look at. We can present it as complete sentences. We can present a linear function as a table of values. We can present a linear function as a set of ordered pairs. We can present a linear function as a linear equation. And finally, we can represent a linear function graphically. By the way, what is the meaning of the word linear? Well, it might not be obvious because of the way it sounds, but look at the way it's written. It's line R, okay? Now, the English language is such that I have to change the way I pronounce that, so I don't say line R, I say linear, and it sounds very fancy and all that. But really, linear just means line-like or line-esque. So that's what we mean by linear function. So let's take a look at a few examples. In fact, this will be the only example we'll look at right here, a cell phone plan, and we'll write it as a complete sentence, table of values, etc., etc. So first, as a complete sentence, here it is, a cell phone plan costs $12 up front and 50 cents per minute of calling. We know that this is linear because it has a constant rate of change. Okay, so the rate of change in this case is 50 cents per minute. So every minute, minute by minute, it only costs 50 cents for that minute. And so it's constantly changing. It's always changing the same way. Okay, our second way of representing linear functions is through a table of values. So we take the same cell phone plan and we can ask after a certain amount of minutes or time, how much is the total cost? What would the bill come out to? So if you talk for zero minutes a particular month, it says that you're going to pay $12 still up front. If you talk for 10 minutes in a particular month, well, you pay the 12 bucks, plus you're going to pay 50 cents on every minute. So 50 cents a minute times 10 minutes is 5 bucks. So that gives us $17 in total cost. And 20 minutes, of, well, you can calculate this out yourself. That's going to cost you $22. Now, we know that this is linear because the rate of change stays the same. It stays constant. Every time I add 10 minutes, I'm adding five bucks to my cost. Another 10 minutes of time, another $5 of cost. So my rate of change in this table is $5 for 10 minutes. Now, if you simplify that down, guess what? You get 50 cents per minute, which, of course, uh, is our rate of change. Okay, the next kind of way of representing a linear function is called a set of ordered pairs. That's actually the same thing as that table. It says that if you do zero minutes, uh, it costs you 12 bucks. If you did 10 minutes, it'll cost you $17. At 20 minutes of talking, it cost you 22, uh, yada yada. In fact, it's just another way of representing that table of values, this time as a set of ordered pairs. Each pair includes one value, which is your input value. That comes from the domain. And every pair also has a, an output value, which comes out of your range of the function. So for this linear function, uh, the number of minutes is followed by the cost. Okay, And generally, of course, every point that you see below there uh, in a pure math sense is usually written x then y. x for the input and then y for the output. Okay, next we've got linear equations. So this can be rewritten as a linear equation. Okay. Uh, we are dealing with the cost and with time, and we want to relate the two together. Okay, so the total cost, which we'll call C, must equal, well, it's going to equal $12 at first, 
and then we add something to it, right? F we add 50 cents times, we'll call it T, for the number of minutes. Okay, now this is a linear equation here that I'm circling. Okay, a linear equation, basically how can you tell it's linear? Well, you don't see anything happening around the T. You don't see it's T squared or the square root of T or T to the power of five or, or anything fancy like that. All you see is just a plain T variable that's being multiplied by, hey look, again, 50 cents, our rate of change. And the final way of representing this is through a graph. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly doodle a graph here. I'm not using some great graphing technology or anything like that. And you might get the picture. Time, T, the cost, C. And if you were to graph it, somehow your graph would roughly look like this. And I'll invite you to do that on your own time if you'd like. You'll notice that at zero minutes of calling, it'll cost you $12 after say 10 minutes it costs uh, $17 so it passes through that point 10 comma 17 and on and on and on using passing through exactly the points that we would expect now how do I know that this is linear well that is pretty darn simple it's a straight line okay? straight lines are linear that's it that's all that's how we know that something is linear when it's a graph